Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I am looking stunning as always in the kitchen. I'm just polishing up some molds. Um, I've got a quite a busy day today. I am going to be making lots and lots of chocolate bars today. Let me see, I'm gonna be, I've got 20 there, 12 there, six there, and another 12 there. That's how many bars, I mean, oh, and all the ones that I've already decorated. Another 12 and about 20 over there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be really busy. I'm doing dark chocolate and white chocolate today. And I thought I would show you guys some of the decorating techniques and um, yeah, just how, how I do my bars. So first thing and most important, not most important, but really important is I'm just giving all of the um, molds a little polish. Um, they are already clean, but you just wanna make sure that there's nothing actually on the molds. I love this one, look at that. This is the one that makes like the bubbles. So um, yeah, right. Come along for the ride, you guys. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna do is this bubble bar, which is by, um, this is gonna be my vegan crunchy bar. And I'm gonna sprink, oh, I'm gonna flick this beautiful gold on. Isn't that stunning? Oops, sorry. And then on top of the gold, I'm just gonna go some silver. The milk chocolate ones are just gold, and then the vegan ones have the added silver on them. Oh my gosh, look at that gold, you guys. It's too beautiful. Sorry, my filming, I'm getting used to, um, I've got my phone on one of those contraptions, and um, I'm obviously watching what I'm doing at the same time. Let's try a better shot here. So it's actually like just a very messy situation and I do the same design on pretty much all of my chocolate bars except for one which I spray with the, um, the spray gun. Um, I think it's quite effective and it's pretty because people are so used to seeing chocolate just being, um, you know, brown and plain. So to have it with like huge bits of color like that, I think is quite cool. Okay, so my silver is now ready to go on. And um, again, I'm just, I'm literally just flicking it in there, but you can see. And because the chocolate I'm putting into this is dark, it's gonna be like such a nice contrast, the silver and gold. It's so hard to film and watch what I'm doing at the same time. And now I'm actually trying to do it handheld. So bear with me, you guys. I have gone ahead and decorated, well, I've started decorating all the other ones um, because I didn't want you guys having to watch every single one. But I'll show you them all once they're done so you can see all the different ones. And then if you come and have a look here, these are, these are my new dark chocolate mint ones. And these ones here, my dark chocolate hazelnut. You see how messy it is? It's so much fun. You guys, I forgot to um, keep vlogging the process and it's just been like such a crazy day. Henry's been making th um, shelving for me for my displays. I'm off to a market tomorrow. Um, anyway, here's the final product I wanted to show you guys. And I'm sitting here in my dining room actually wrapping up chocolates. There's some of them. There's so much involved in being a one-man band. Um, those are like all my spare ones. And then there's, here's my cooler full of chocolate that I'm taking with me tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. 
I'll try and vlog again tomorrow so you guys can see where I'm doing the market. But I hope you have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye.